Gude, my friends. Today you will learn why orcs are godless death machines, how they use their insane physical superiority and big brainness to bully everything and everyone around them, regardless of size and danger. Yet you will also discover why they are incredibly emotional and lovable creatures. Enjoy! Yes, dolphins are evil, but the most evil of them all is this godless death machine. Let's get one thing straight right away. Orcas are dolphins, and they are the largest of them all. Over time, they have earned themselves an epic name, Killer Whale. This name was given to them by fishermen who witnessed them hunting other whales and initially called them Whale Killers, which eventually evolved into Killer Whale. And this name fits perfectly because orcas have made hunting an art form. Their daily to-do list includes deliver the most powerful slaps in the world, outsmart every victim around them, show sharks who's boss and remind the blue whale that size isn't everything. With a heap of intelligence also comes a heap of cruelty. This shriveled wrinkled creature is the best example of that. This makes orcas both incredibly fascinating but also genuine assholes. Orcas can be found all over the world and in each region orca families have developed the best plan over centuries on how to terrorize the little shit around them and a little shithead to an orca can mean a great white shark, other whales or even the blue whale, the fucking biggest dawn creature ever to exist on this planet. When a great white shark realizes that orcas are in its territory, the great whites Bye, flee like scared day. little children and may not return for months or even years. This happened in 2017 off the coast of South Africa, one of the most famous spots for great white sharks. Suddenly it was all empty. But considering that orcas tear their sharks into two pieces just to eat their fucking liver because it contains the most nutrients, this reaction becomes somewhat understandable. A short biology lesson kids. This is the brain of an orca. This is a human's brain and this is your brain. Orcas have the second largest brain on earth following the sperm whale. Well. However, intelligence can't be conclusively determined by size alone. A much better indicator of intelligence is the brain to body mass ratio, also known as the encephalization quotient or simply EQ. Here orcas rank third with an EQ of 2.5, behind the previously mentioned hairless apes with an EQ of 7 and bottlenose dolphins with an EQ of 4. Moreover orcas have the most wrinkled brain on earth. This is relevant because the more wrinkled the brain is, this is relevant because the more wrinkled the brain is, the higher the number of neurons it can accommodate due to the increased surface area. Blah blah blah, orcas are intelligent. And orcas absolutely love to take advantage of this by using their brains to bully everything and everyone around them. Let's talk about the strength of these creatures. Orcas possess a relaxed bite force of 90,000 pound force per square inch or short PSI. For comparison, a great white shark has a measly 4,000 PSI. In addition, they can reach speeds of up to 56 kilometers per hour, which they use, among other things, to crash headfirst into whales. Imagine what it feels like when a 5 ton black and white behemoth collides with you at that speed, cracking your skull like a walnut. That's a lot of damage. Another weapon in the orca arsenal is their ridiculously overpowered tail fin. Seriously, this thing needs to be nerfed, it's like pay to win or shit like this. They use it to either knock their lunch out cold or hurl it meters into the air as if it were a fucking baseball. Despite all the physical power that the killer whale brings to the table, by far their most potent weapon is their intelligence. If you're homeless, just buy a house. Depending on their region, these orcas have their own unique hunting strategies and culture. Some orcas in the arctic waters might use ice floes to trap their prey, while their cousins in Argentina employ this deranged beaching tactic that nearly kills themselves. But when orcas go on a whale hunt, they are very understanding and thanks to their intelligence are able to empathize with the feelings of another mammal. Wrong, it's absolutely ruthless. Their tactic is to separate individual whales from the group and then bite off their fins, rendering them unable to escape, or they swim over the whale's blowholes to drown it. How crazy is that? And there is a family of orcas off the coast of Portugal that has even recently discovered a new hobby, sinking ships. Did I hear that bitch right? Yes, you heard that right. Whether they do it for fun or because they're mad at humans is still unclear. But mastering the job of being the most ruthless killer machine on earth doesn't come from nowhere. You have to put in the work, put in the hours. Sorry. So here's a crash course in one of the most complex aspects that an orca has to offer, their social structure. First and foremost, it's essential to understand that not all orcas are created equal. Ecotypes and subspecies differ so much from each other that there's an ongoing debate about whether some might even be considered distinct species. Depending on where orcas live, they exhibit varying sizes, colors, shapes and favorite foods. They even use different language to tell each other their dark jokes and I'm pretty sure these jokes are dark as fuck. <laughs> so if you were to put orca 1 from the North Pole in a small enclosure with orca 2 from Mexico and orca 1 cracked a godless joke, orca 2 wouldn't laugh because he has no clue what this Santa just told him. Bro, what are you talking about, man? This is roughly what happens. 
Anyway, the language of orcas is an absolutely fascinating matter. And with that, here's another short biology lesson, kids. Orcas produce their clicking sound through special organs in their head. One of these organs is a melon. This melon, however, is not juicy and crisp, but rather squishy and oily. By altering its shape and density, the melon can control the direction and characteristics of the sound waves. Their echolocation is also generated in this part of their head. It involves a series of clicking sounds that they emit to then receive the reflections of their surroundings, thus achieving an awesome 3D rendering of their environment. Since visibility in water is quite limited, these sounds are essentially their eyes, and they can easily spot prey this way. To communicate with each other, orcas use a variety of clicks and whistles. It is believed that they can even exchange emotions through these sounds. However, it has already been discovered that each orca has its own signature call, essentially a name. Most of the orca's prey cannot perceive the frequency of their language, but mammals like other whales have excellent hearing, which is why orcas go into dark mode and become very quiet when hunting whales. Going dark. In any case, orcas always live in family groups known as pods. These pods are led by an old wise matriarch, followed by a bunch of male and female orcas. Some pods can consist of over 100 individuals, male orcas in particular follow the matriarch their entire lives, which can be around 50 years on average, but in some individual cases it can reach 80 to 100 years. You can easily spot mates by the towering dorsal fins, which can reach up to 2 meters in height, what the fuck, while females have smaller curved dorsal fins. Because orcas teach their hunting techniques to each other, belonging to a pod is absolutely vital for their survival, hence it's not surprising that it's believed that orcas perceive emotions like frustration, fear, joy, love and anger on a level that humans can hardly comprehend. For example, when an orca mother loses her newborn, she experiences such deep sorrow and pain that she may carry the dead calf on her snout for weeks, even to the point where the calf's skin and flesh start to peel off. Well, that was quite sad, wasn't it? So let's rather move on to another example of how orcas use their intelligence to fool other animals. Here we have an orca using a fish to lure a stupid unsuspecting bird. RIP. This seal thought it was safe chilling on an extra large ice floe. Well, not so safe after all. And here's a female orca named Luna interacting with a dog. Don't worry, the dog is perfectly safe because orcas aren't that godless. The orca named Luna is frequently observed engaging in playful interactions with other creatures. It's believed that Luna was tragically separated from her family at a young age. And she's now trying to compensate for that loss with playful interactions with other animals. Because orcas are so intelligent, it's even harder to comprehend why some brain-dead creatures thought it was a good idea to confine these animals alone in tiny tanks and teach them tricks. I've got an idea! This dorsal fin looks kind of weird. Is it supposed to be like that? No, it's not. A dorsal fin as curved as a banana is a sign that the orca emotional feels like shit. There is still an ongoing debate about it, but curved dorsal fins are mainly observed in the wild in whales that are stranded. They are in a bad state. However, in aquariums, orcas almost every time have a curved dorsal fin, which for a long time was mispresented to visitors as a normal genetic trait or described as a rare type. But that's a topic better explained by others, so my recommendation is to definitely watch Blackfish on Netflix, of course after you finish watching this video. In the wild there hasn't been a single known case of an orca attacking a human. Just that fact alone should give something to ponder. In conclusion, these marine monarchs possess the second largest brain on the planet, excel at bullying whales, boasts a bite that belongs in a horror movie and can even outsmart birds and seals. But we love them nonetheless because they are deeply emotional and social beings who tightly knit their families. The message is clear if you ever come across an orca, just smile and wave boys. Because if there's one species on this planet with the potential and reasons to enslave us, it's the orca.